up again when it comes to China and uh, Cuba, Venezuela, and sometimes even Iran. But I think uh, uh, people have really got to realize that. Uh, well, how, do, how do you think we promote the? Uh, how do you think we promote propaganda? Did you see uh, the interview that I had with Steve Pachinik on the nightly news the other night? No, I, I don't follow. Well, do you know who Steve Pachinik is? Oh. Sure, I do. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, just for people who don't know, I mean, he was advisor to, I think it was five administrations. He brokered the Camp David Agreement. He's got long term involvement in the intelligence community. But his, I asked him about the Ukraine. I asked him about Victoria Newland, and he said it was the most outrageous, in your face, deliberate uh, challenge that he's ever seen. The fact that she's claiming that they hacked her phone and the phony outrage from the uh, State Department and the U.S. government that somebody would actually listen to her phone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah. can they really seriously say that with a straight face? I mean, they're listening to all of our phones, blanket surveillance, dragnet surveillance, and yet they say, can you imagine the uh, Russians listening to uh, uh, somebody at the, at the uh, State Department's phone? Of course, th she did that just to challenge them, just to foment uh, dangerous relationships to right. escalate ra uh, conflict between the U.S. and the uh, and the Russians. I think is part of a, a a way for the military industrial complex to get back their their profit center. But uh, how how do you think that we are are promoting propaganda? Let me let me ask you to explain. Well, that. I, I, I'm saying on on um, on certain countries you're you're doing a good job, like on uh, the Ukraine and Libya and Syria, and pointing out that Al Qaeda is really behind these uh, claims of uh, Anderson Cooper and other CIA rot, rot, uh, rotters that uh, these are freedom fighters. But when it comes to China, uh, Cuba, Venezuela, uh, I think uh, you don't apply the same standards of these color revolutions, the CIA subversion, and the lies that we're being told uh, simply because they're either not nominally uh, socialist or they're uh, semi-socialist, and there's, there's a kind of a, a red flag that goes up that changes the whole uh, standards when it comes to those countries. But you well, know, we have, um, we have talked about Venezuela. Yeah. We've talked about how there seems to be a double standard in the way that it's, it's very telling how there's a double standard between the way the... And I believe uh, uh, it was Kurt Nimmo who put out an article just a few days ago, sir. Maybe you can go to Infowars.com and check up on that for yourself. Yeah. Well, right. I, I, uh, but uh, I just... Uh, I just think that, uh, like today, talking about applying the same standards to uh, um, a country, uh, if Russia came over here and uh, uh, tried over and, and overthrew uh, Canada and uh, started to uh, move its uh, missiles uh, into a threatening position in our country, and uh, oh yeah, uh, how about if they put missiles in Cuba? Would, would we see that as a crisis? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think we have, you know, and and quite. Honestly, I mean, I look at the situation in Ukraine, and, and I have a lot of sympathy for the people of Ukraine. I know they suffered under tremendous despotism. I know that the Soviet Union went in. They decapitated their leadership. They co-opted the churches. They had a massive influx of Russians to immigration to control the country. And then they took away their food, and they starved them out. And so I understand that people are still upset about that. They should be upset about that. We also understand there's another gang that's out there eager to subjugate them. I, I hope they get their independence somehow, but you know they're jumping out of the frying pan and into the fire. If mm. they get under the control of these European bankers and the IMF, we said that was happening, and now we see it, as we talked about with Paul Joseph Watson last hour, the IMF is there with, they're going to outbid the Russians. Instead of oh, $15 yeah. billion, the IMF is going to come in with $35 billion, and they're going to loot the country left and right. It's, it's just really sad. Well, thanks, John, for uh, calling in from Ohio. We've got uh, Brad in Connecticut. You wanted to talk about Sandy Hook. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for having me on. Hey, Brad. Sure. Go hey, ahead. Um, I just wanted to bring up a couple inconsistencies and some weird things that I found from doing my own research about well, wow, whatever went on in Sandy Hook. Um, there is the evidence pictures that you can see online, and um, there is a uh, two black sweatshirts. One's by the uh, front passenger, and the other's by the rear passenger that are just left on the ground. And uh, they never really talk about that. Yeah, there's and there's a are, lot of there's a lot of anomalies. I mean, the the article, the the interview that uh, Wolfgang Halbig had with American Free Press. It was a 45 minute long interview. Paul, uh, or Adon Salazar, not Paul Joseph Watson, but Adon Salazar did a detailed argument talking about, he, he kind of focused on the crime scene because that's his investigation uh, mm -hmm. background. He's a, a former state trooper. He's a school security consultant. So there's a lot of strange things that are going on in the periphery of that. It's, it's very strange that 
you don't have any families that have sued. That's never happened before in a shooting. Yeah, that there's said, never yes. been any families that sued. It was interesting that you did have one family that was going to sue. And they were going to sue for $100 million because, not because their daughter was killed, but because she was frightened. And, yes. they, and they backed off of that after just two weeks. And nobody has sued them for negligence. And, of course, that's the first thing that seems to happen. And, and if they were concerned about children's safety, you would think that they would be open to safety, school safety consultants mm -hmm. like Wolfgang Halbig. So we want to get him back on his amazing set of facts. He's been researching this since it happened in spite of the stonewalling from Connecticut. And uh, we've had him on the nightly news. We want to have him on the radio soon, and we hope that that'll happen. But today he had a family emergency, so our prayers go out to him. We're going to be right back with Jakari Jackson, and we're going to take more of your calls. We're talking about the Ukraine. We're talking about the attack on the family, the attack on the family farm, and the attack on free speech from the FCC. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. The ultimate survival bug out lightweight fishing pole is Emrod. Made by a family owned American company and assembled in Idaho, Emrod fishing gear comes with a lifetime warranty and 90 day money back guarantee. Emrod weighs just 8 ounces and breaks down to 14 inches. Emrod's indestructible stainless steel compact design makes it perfect to take anywhere. Cast your eyes now at Emrod.com. That's E M M R O D.com. Emrod. Fish to survive, survive to fish. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Question. Could too many GMO foods and toxins be overloading your digestive and immune systems? Answer, yes. If you're searching for a powerful detox that's gentle enough to use every day, use Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM-1 is a powerful liquid probiotic that uses good bacteria to suppress pathogens and gently eliminate toxins from your body. A healthy digestive system will cleanse and remove toxins, support weight loss, improve absorption of food nutrients, and aid in controlling yeast and other infections. Pro-EM-1 is made with only non-GMO and certified organic ingredients, has no preservatives, and is dairy, soy, wheat, and gluten-free. Pro-EM-1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM-1 Daily Probiotic Cleanse at Terraganics.com. Spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM-1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. I'm joined here in studio with Jakari Jackson, another member of the Nightly News crew. Hey, hey. And we're going to be joined by Leanne McAdoo at the bottom of the hour. She's going to come in and swap out with Jakari Jackson. We're taking your calls, talking about news articles today. We've been talking about the attack on the family, the attack on the family farm, what's going on in the Ukraine, what does that mean for 
not just the Ukrainian people, but what does it mean for us as we see the American government escalating this conflict there between in there and you know, all the war hawks and everybody's yeah. ready to go? Oh yeah, I mean you start going after the Ukraine and Russia, and you start going after the Crimea, which is their access to uh, water. That's that's yeah, going to be a, a very call in last week talking about the ports out there, and you yeah, know, it's a very real uh, concern. Yeah, that's that's a good way to stir up a hornet's nest. If you wanted to start World War III, that's the way you would do it. And we've seen a lot of signs, and we've seen we've heard warnings from people. Uh, like Scowls and saying that that's exactly what he thinks the government wants to do is start World War III. We know that governments always profit when there's a war or there's a fear of a war. Oh, exactly. So the question is, do they just want to s drum up conflict between us and Russia and China and Iran? Uh, certainly that's in the interest of dictatorships like Iran and uh, countries where you've got a uh, uh, an oligarchy that's running it like China. It certainly makes them stronger to brag about how they want to go to war and how prepared they are for war. But, of course, our government is becoming more and more like a dictatorship in every respect. So you would Even expect the them to start doing uh, that. The situation in Syria where you know Obama says they crossed the red line and then he says, no, the American people say they crossed the red line. Then they show the videos of... Uh, these YouTube videos with the Al Qaeda logo on it show it on the big networks. You see, it's Assad. I'm like, well, Assad with That's the right. Al Qaeda logo on his video. Like, okay, that makes perfect sense. That's right. I, I guess we're not really too far away from the day when the U.S. military is going to parade down the streets of Washington on May Day. You know, mm -hmm. of course, of course, they're already sending out the military vehicles to every village and town. You know, oh we got we got goodness. anti mine vehicles that are going to every village and town. A, so I guess they don't it, need the May Day parade it's, anymore. Uh, right? I think it's Ohio State. They have that big mine proof truck. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what kind of frat parties are you guys busting up that you need something that big? Yeah, that's that's my question. That's right. Well, let's go to our callers. We had one caller from uh, Texas, Timmy from Texas who's been on for a while, hanging on for a while. You wanted to say something about uh, pension fraud? Uh, yeah, I read an article. It was posted yesterday on Drudge. Uh, it was only there for, for yesterday, but it's over. It, it was from Yahoo News, and it said that over 100 firefighters and policemen are being arrested for pension fraud from the nine, uh, stemming from the 9-11 uh, pensions they got, I guess. They retired shortly after 9-11. And I just want to discuss with you guys if, if there may, you know, you guys might think there'd be a, a deeper plot as far as these are the guys that just kept quiet and took the money. But in reality, they could be the guys to speak out and say there was maybe a proof of explosives. And instead, they took the money, which uh, in the article states is over $400 million. So spread that out over 100 people or so. I mean, that's a lot of money. What do you guys think? Well, it's hard to say. I mean, I look I, into that. frankly, I wouldn't be surprised to find anything associated with the 9-11 situation but uh, we know how the government has used it we've covered it over and over again Alex is, uh, has talked to eyewitnesses we have uh, done documentaries we've covered the news it's it's just amazing and we see it happening over and over again I mean what do you think about the fact that Rachel Maddow and MSNBC and CNN are talking about how phony the Boston bombing looks having issues with the fact that the FBI would pick somebody up for questioning and then shoot him in the back of the head or shoot him six times and once in the back of the head I mean Hang, hang on, we'll be right back. I want to know what you think about that. Stay tuned. We'll talk about the awakening of the mainstream media, if that's what's yes, going on. Uh, I guess you can say that to an extent. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. We'll see what's behind that. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. The Genesis Communications Radio Network. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics Advanced Media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. 
Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. 